What's going on guys, Hostile Beast here, back again with another Hoopland video. And today, I have something a little different for you guys. Today, Hoopland is going to be predicting the results of the 2023 NBA Finals. So when you guys see this, hopefully on Wednesday, the finals will start tomorrow. What we're going to do is simulate a bunch of full-length games with the Nuggets and the Heat, the two teams in the finals, and see which team Hoopland predicts to win the finals and in how many games. So, how this is going to work, I'm going to simulate however many games it takes for there to be a winner, which if you win four games, you win the finals. So we're gonna see which team wins four games first. Now I can't show every single minute of every single game. So I'm gonna skip to the ending of the first game. If it's close, if it's not close, we'll just go to the final score. But the first couple games, we'll take it pretty fast. And then we can slow down a little bit once it gets close. You know, if it's tied and there's a game seven, we'll watch the whole game. But for now, let's just go to game one. And there you can see the Heat lineup versus the Nuggets lineup. And yeah, I'm just going to leave it here. I have to sit through this entire 12 minute long Hoopland game, put it on max speed, but still will take a while. And yeah, I'll see you guys either towards the end of the game or at the end of the game. So we're in the last minute of the first game. It's safe to say the Nuggets look to close out game one. They're up 10 right now. And that's will do it. So the Nuggets take game one, 55 to 48. Score is kind of irrelevant, but Hoopland predicts the Nuggets to win game one of the finals in Denver by seven points. It was pretty close throughout the majority of the game, and in the fourth quarter, the Nuggets kind of took over. So now it is time to play Game 2, also in Denver. We're going to go pretty fast on this one as well, and then once Game 2 is over, we can start to slow it down a little bit, and we will see. Can the Heat tie it up at 1-1, or will the Nuggets go up 2-0? The Heat are up five points against the Nuggets heading into the fourth quarter, so they look to steal a game in Denver. I will speed it up a little bit, kind of get down to the final seconds. We'll just see who's making shots. The Heat missed one there. And just like that, the Nuggets tie the game. So, I'm going to slow this down. We're going to watch this at normal pace. The Heat are up by two points. Shot clock winding down, and Denver takes the lead. Denver has a one-point lead now with a minute 30 to go in the game. There's Vincent up top, and Love makes a three. 44-42, two-point margin with a minute left in the game. Denver Nuggets ball. And it's tied at 44. The Nuggets take a lead, 46 44, two-point lead with 37 seconds left, and now the Heat tie it back up. It might come down to it. It might come down to a buzzer beater. We may see a buzzer beater in the Hoopland Finals. 20 seconds left, tied at 46. Brown drives. He slams it in, and the Nuggets have a two-point lead. 16 seconds. Shot clock is off. The Heat are going to try and win it, it looks like. No, they pass in. They drive to the basket, and he missed the basket, and they foul. The Heat have to foul the Nuggets. That's a very crucial miss. Nuggets inbound, and they make their shot. They're up four points with four seconds left. It looks like it's over for the Heat. They had a big lead, and they blew it. There's Harrell for three. He makes his three. Okay, there's a tiny chance. They did not foul. They didn't foul in time. They didn't foul in time, and the Nuggets win by one point. So Hoopland predicts a one-point Nuggets victory in game two. The Nuggets go up 2-0 in the finals, and now it's time to take things back to Miami. So now, can the Heat even things up with two games in Miami? Let's find out. At the end of the third quarter, the Heat were up one point. They still are. Now they're up three points, but very, very close here in game three. Now it's tied at 38. I'm going to keep simulating fast until maybe like a minute 30. Then we'll slow it down a little bit, but a very, very close game. If the Nuggets win this game, they go up 3-0, and it's pretty much over. But if the Heat win this game, they can claw their way back. They're down 0-2, and now they're down two points, and they have a backcourt violation. That's going to hurt them. So now Nuggets ball. And they turn it over. A lot of turnovers happening. A minute 10 left in this game. Shot clock. Oh, they hit the shot right as the clock expires. Nuggets up forward. 30 seconds left. This could be it for the Heat season, basically. Lowry trying to shoot a three-pointer. He's just stumbling around, and they brick it. Two seconds left. Does not matter. The Nuggets shoot anyway, and they're going to win game three in Miami by seven points. So the Heat find themselves on the other end of a 3-0 deficit, and we have one more game in Miami. Can the Nuggets close it out? Or will the Heat try and fight back from down 0-3 to in the finals? As you can see, the Heat are down 4 points to the Nuggets in the 4th quarter. They're down 3-0 in the series, and they get the ball back. So the chance to come back here against the Nuggets. They trail by 1. Still trailing by 1. Denver's ball. Let's see what they do. They make a 3, and they're up by 4. Nuggets almost hold the ball back. Heat get it, and they turn it over. But they get it back and make a basket. So they make the foul shot too. I'm going to put it on slightly slower speed. There we go. The Nuggets make a shot as well. They're up by three points. 46-43. Lowry with the ball. A chance to tie the game. He will drive in instead and make it a one-point game. One minute left in this game. Could be for the entire season. The Nuggets do not make their shots. And now Kyle Lowry with the ball for the Heat. He almost turns it over. Gets it back. 40 seconds left. Lowry dribbling. 
Lowry has to pass, and Bam misses a shot. 26 seconds left in the game. Gordon with the ball. Shot clock at 12. Still dribbling around that three-point line. He floats one up, and it's good. 49-45. Nuggets heat with the ball. Murray steals it and dunks it, and that could be it for the Miami Heat. So, hoop land. Very bold prediction, I would say, is predicting a sweep. Nuggets ball again. They have one last shot. It does not go in, but Denver wins the game and the finals. So a very bold prediction, as I was saying. Hoop Land thinks that the Denver Nuggets will be your 2023 NBA champions by sweeping the Miami Heat, a 4-0 finals victory. So we'll have to see if they are right. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and comment down below your finals prediction. I want to hear what do you guys think is going to happen. I personally want the Heat to win, but I don't think they're going to win. I think the Nuggets are going to win, but I'm rooting for the Heat. But once again, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys, and I will see you all in the next one.